The Marine Institute operates a licensed multi-species aquaculture research site in Burterboy Bay, Connemara, County Galway on the Atlantic coast of Ireland. The site is 21.5 hectares and is dedicated to aquaculture research and new species and technology development. The location is relatively sheltered with no significant fetch or swell. Waves are produced by local wind conditions. The site depth varies by location. The deepest location where the grid is moored is approximately 20 metres. The tidal range is approximately 5 metres. Salinity is typically greater than 32 parts per thousand but can range from 24 to 35 parts per thousand depending on rainfall and influence from runoff. Water temperature ranges from 5 to 18 degrees Celsius and current velocities are moderate with a predominantly northwest to southeast flow of approximately 1.5 meters per second. It is a location for integrated multi-trophic aquaculture research and for the installation, testing and validation of sensors, monitoring, management systems and new technology. There is a data boy on site recording environmental information and also a number of sensors around the site. Wi-Fi and 4G are available on the site. The site is approximately 150 metres from the shoreline and 1.5 kilometres from the nearest pier called Wallace Pier. The current moored grid has capacity for six 50 metre circumference circular fish pens with associated long lines and structures. It is approximately a quarter the size of a commercial farm. Long lines are located to the west and southeast of the main grid. These vary in length and purpose and are designed to cultivate seaweeds and suspended rope cultures of shellfish and invertebrates and other structures to support integrated multi-trophic aquaculture. The site is serviced by three vessels and off-site, a pier site office allows for data analysis and further resources are found at the lab facilities in the Marine Institute headquarters in Oranmore and Newport. Salmon smolts averaging 75 to 100 grams are stocked twice a year, autumn, winter and spring, summer. Regular monitoring of biomass, lengths, weights, operational welfare indices and fish health is carried out in addition to general daily fish husbandry checks and feeding routines. Lumpfish are stocked with the salmon. Lumpfish act as cleaner fish, a biological control of sea lice which occur on the salmon. Additional structures known as hides are placed in the fish pens to offer refuge for these slower moving fish in more turbulent waters. Scallops, Pecton maximus, a bivalve filter feeder are currently stocked on site as one of the IMTA species. The stock is checked quarterly to assess growth rate and to maintain structures. The variegated or black scallop is known locally as a clusheen or little ear. These differ from pecton maximus in shape and life strategy but filter feed in the same way making them a good candidate for IMTA. Although they may be considered as a novel species in IMTA scenarios, consumer demand has increased for this shellfish. The clusheens are naturally present, so collectors are put to sea to allow juveniles to settle before being transferred for on-growing. Lobsters are a well-known staple in inshore fishing communities, but an unlikely IMTA species. In the IMTA scenario, lobsters are shown to assimilate nutrients from the fish providing a small ecosystem benefit. Juvenile lobsters are placed in suspended culture units between 6 to 8 weeks old and are released after 18 months, providing an overall ecosystem service. As an IMTA candidate, urchins are indirectly linked to the fed species by their preferred food choice, kelp. On site, the urchins are stocked in baskets suspended from long lines and fed fortnightly with seaweed grown alongside them. At Lehena Pool, we use nets and long lines placed just beneath the surface of the water to culture different types of seaweed. We primarily culture large kelps such as Alaria esculenta because of its high nutrient uptake. We plant or seed the lines in October and monitor throughout the growing season. Harvest is usually the following April or May 
depending on the intended market for the seaweed. In the Astral Project, the Marine Institute, along with our partners in Brazil, South Africa, Scotland and Argentina, will be assessing the potential of INTA, looking at resilient aquaculture species for the future, production methods, welfare criteria, health management and biosecurity, along with circularity, microplastics, crabs and pathogens, and profitability. For further information, visit our website at astral-project.eu.